The USS Gerald R. Ford, the United States Navy's newest and most advanced aircraft carrier, represents the peak of modern naval engineering, and one of the most ambitious warships ever built. But behind its power, there are also real shortcomings that even American analysts acknowledge. At over 100,000 tons, the Ford class is the largest warship in history. It carries more than 75 aircraft, including F-A-18 Super Hornets, E-2D Hawkeyes, and soon F-35C Stealth Fighters. Its nuclear reactors can power the ship for 25 years without refueling, giving it unmatched range and endurance. New systems like EMILS, the Electromagnetic Aircraft Launch System, and advanced arresting gear replace older steam technology, allowing faster and smoother flight operations. Automation and improved layout cut the crew by almost 600 sailors compared to the previous Nimitz class, reducing lifetime costs and improving efficiency. However, those innovations came with serious challenges. The Ford class faced years of delays and billions in cost overruns, reaching nearly 13 billion United States dollars per ship. Its emuls and arresting gear suffered reliability problems during early testing, limiting sortie rates and requiring repeated upgrades. Even today, some systems, like the advanced weapons elevators, took years to become fully operational. Critics also question whether supercarriers are still survivable in the age of hypersonic and long-range anti-ship missiles, like China's DF-21D and DF-26. A single hit could disable or sink a ship that carries thousands of personnel and billions in hardware. Yet, the Ford remains a symbol of global reach. It can project power anywhere on Earth sustain high-tempo operations, and integrate seamlessly with U.S. and Allied fleets. Its radar, electronic warfare systems, and command networks remain decades ahead of most rivals. China's new Type 003 Fujian is closing the gap fast, using similar catapult technology, but it's still in early testing. While the Ford class had a painful start, its lessons will shape the next generation of U.S. carriers, keeping America ahead, for now, even as the balance at sea slowly begins to shift.